How's it going guys? Mike here with the sixth video in the tutorial series. In this one we're going to cover um, adding some character to this little block here. So we're going to add the eyes as well as making the block jump. So to start we're going to add the eyes to the hero. So go into the ML hero implementation file. Um, we're just going to actually code all this out. You can just get images and generally that's what people do for um, creating their hero. But because our hero is so simple, it's literally just three rectangles. We're going to just code out, code it out, and um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do sprite node, sk sprite node, left eye equals sk sprite node, sprite node with color, UI color, white color. And we're going to make him, let's say, 5 by 5 points. And then we're going to add the left eye to the hero. And so, um, if you guys can think what's going to happen right here, the left eye is just going to be centered on this white block, as you can see. Um, so now we actually need to position it, and we're positioning it within the hero's own coordinate system. So let's say we we're going to put it at um, like eight points up as a y coordinate. It's going to position it right here because it's positioning everything from that center of the hero. So. Let's do um, left eye dot position equals CG point make. Let's do zero eight, like I was just saying. Then that looks all right. We want actually probably want to make it move a little bit to the left, so we're gonna do like minus three. Um, you can copy this left eye creation right here for the right eye that we're going to make now. So we're gonna do right eye. Um, I'm going to do right eye dot position equals CG point make. Let's make this guy um, slab four eight and see how that goes. We're going to do hero add child right eye. Not quite a little bit cross eyed, so we're gonna, we're going to make him. We're going to move him over to like let's say eleven. Okay, we're getting closer now. We're going to do maybe 13, and then we're just going to call it good. Awesome. So we have our little block with the two white eyes. Now we're going to implement the jump method. So we're going to write a new method here. It's going to be called jump. And we're actually going to take out this walk right method now. I just wanted to show you guys that for the, um, the tutorial I made on centering the camera on the node, just so you could see exactly what was going on. So take that out in the implementation and the header files and add in the jump method in the header file. So um, I'm about to show you like a really, really fun action. I just love, I love messing around with this. Um, there's a method called apply impulse that you can run on physics bodies. So it's apply impulse. It takes a CG vector as an argument and so you make this just like you would make a CG point or a CG size. So it's going to be CG vector make. And we're going to say it's going to be 0 and 40. And this really is just guess and check. Um, you see how much force is actually applied to it um, with the different numbers because it varies so much on what the properties for the physics body's mass and density are that you just kind of have to guess and check. So. Now we need to make it so you can actually access this jump method every single time you click on the screen. So we're going to go into my scene, right where we had hero walk right. Um, it's giving us an error now because we deleted that walk right method. And instead of walk right, we're going to do hero jump. So now if we run this, every time we click on the screen, it should apply an impulse with a CG vector of 0, 040. And as you can see, he hops just like that. And you can actually keep clicking um, because we haven't implemented the code that disallows that. So you can actually just like launch him in the air and just keep clicking and he's like way up um, who knows where. So he's actually, he's falling. Oh, you can see and he bounces. So um, that's going to be it for this. This was just a short tutorial to get that started and I will see you guys in the next one.